What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we're going to be spending a real day in the life with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And we're going to spend a full day with the phone trying out the features, battery life, performance, everything you want to know in the real world. Alright guys, so it is officially time to start the real day in the life. It is about 10.48am and this is the audio and video quality that you can expect from the front facing camera. But today we have a lot of work to do in the gamer's paradise, yeah that's Ari. Show your face, Ari, how about that? Uh, so you're pretty much gonna be seeing, I guess some of the evolution and some of the thought process into how we're gonna set that thing up. And there's a lot to do in the gamer's paradise. So I figured getting started in the main room first would be the goal for the day. All right, y'all, so this right here is the current state of the gamer's paradise. Uh, lots of work to still do in here. We got our Gundams up, you know? So today we're gonna be heading out to like Ikea, probably hit up Best Buy or Micro Center or something. But I'm gonna record what we've got going on right here just so I have an idea when I'm in these stores. I know exactly what I wanna do. I get to have a reference. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up the video camera and I'm definitely gonna go wide angle so I can have a good idea of what we got going on. And I'll do one this way as well so I can just get a little bit more in the frame. Having a wide angle lens is so useful. And while my game room reference video wasn't the best to judge the video capabilities, I've seen consistently great video come from the Note 10 Plus, from the dynamic range, sharpness, and overall color, along with cool features we'll try a bit later in the day, but now we have to head to Ikea, but of course with the help of the GPS. All right guys, so right now we are headed over to Ikea. We're actually gonna be using the GPS for this. Uh, I wish I had a phone holder in here, but obviously this car doesn't need it, but I'm gonna be holding it in hand. And yes, I know my car has GPS, but we're gonna see, you know, for everyday people who use the GPS on their phones, how this will impact the battery. And thankfully a 30 minute drive with the GPS wasn't too much of a drain on the battery as we had about 86% left and it was just 12.37 p.m. All right guys, so we're in Ikea and I'm just trying to brainstorm what we should actually put inside of the studio. Cause right now we have like this really whack coffee table behind the couch. So maybe we pick up one of those. Something like this would be pretty good. Typically in Ikea, you would just take a picture of uh, this guy right here. But instead of having a ton of different pictures, I figured why not use the note for what it's for and bust out that S Pen. So with the screen off, you can pull out the pen and you can just start writing immediately. My handwriting is trash like this, <laughs> but. Cool. So we got our little console table. All right guys, so right now I'm trying to make a decision on which of these I want to be the next desktop for us. And I'm figuring this is a good time to use AR Doodle because AR Doodle, you might have seen the demos. You can put it on someone's face, but you can also put it everywhere. So my vote here and then Ari likes this one. All right, guys, I need your opinion. I'm picking a new desktop. You can see which one I like and you can see which one Ari likes. Which one do you guys prefer, mine or hers? I definitely think AR Doodle is cool and can be pretty fun but it also feels like it has the potential to be useful in some cases, like you guys saw here. But your boy was hungry and we had to stop for some food and finally get a moment to chill with the phone and check out that display. I'm actually playing one of my favorite games, Dragalia Lost right now. But this is a game that's extremely colorful, very vibrant, and the screen looks absolutely amazing with it. But when you first get the phone, there's actually a setting that you have to change if you're used to those Samsung colors. So if you go into the display, screen mode. Now, I think people are typically used to that vivid setting. It comes default with natural, which looks quite a bit duller, but when you got on that vivid mode, this is the kind of Samsung look we're used to. So that is something you wanna keep in mind. And one thing that I thought was going to be an issue was the little punch out for the camera. Now, the screen is so large that content kind of stops right under it. So it doesn't come into play at all, unless I go into like a full screen video or something. But for the most part, it's really not an issue at all. I've kind of forgotten that it was there. And that's great because you don't want anything to distract you when you're using a big, beautiful display like this. I've watched a bunch of different content on this phone and a little cutout for the front facing camera has never been an issue for me, no matter the aspect ratio of what I was watching 
or even while gaming. The only thing that did take some getting used to is that power button on the left side. Uh, it's weird to not have it on the right side like every other phone out there, but I will say you do get pretty used to it after using the phone for at least a few days and it doesn't really become an issue after that. All right, so one of my favorite places, Micro Center. Now we gotta find the tech that we wanna add to the gamer's paradise. So check this out, guys. They got Main Gear backpacks over here. I know the guys over at Main Gear, you guys know that. So when taking a picture of right here, it's easy to be concerned since you've got a bright white bag, lots of black. So there's that dynamic range is gonna be tested here. And with this photo, check this out, guys. Everything looks super clear. Nothing looks like they, it's not crushing the blacks. I can even see the detail on the white. That is clean. So the dynamic range here is on point. Oh, you put a tile in here? Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna send a picture to him, let him know I saw it and I think it's cool. Okay, so we got some headphone stands, but a mic. It's the gamer's paradise, you know? We gotta have like a streaming setup somewhere. Good eye, Malcolm. Now let's see if they got this anywhere for a little bit less money, try to get that price match, you know? I kind of wish this fingerprint scanner was a bit faster. I mean, it's cool. It's just normal speed. That's not super fast. But anyway, I digress. Let me get to the Amazon app. Eh, it's 150 on Amazon too, so it's got the lowest price out. Micro Center has dope lighting and lots of stuff in here. So I figured why not try out the live focus video mode while we're here. See if we can blur out all the stuff in the background, see what the quality is like. Jay, what do you think? Jay's shaking his head right now like, I don't know. Oh, actually, this could be extremely useful in the gamer's paradise. It's awesome. Blurring <laughs> it's blurring it out? Is it only me? <laughs> That's hilarious. So it doesn't matter what's on the sides or anything, it's just, just focus on me. Okay, so while we're on the topic of video, I wanna try that zoom in mic. There's music playing around, there's a lot of noise, but that HomePod is playing a little bit of music and we're gonna see if we can pick up on it. It's really low. So I hear that Chris Brown. So let's see how clearly we can hear it. Wow. So check this out guys, this is the exact moment that you hear it really pick up the HomePod. You hear it a little bit? Now, once you start zooming in, you can hear the music very clearly. That's cool. Where you'll use it, probably like a concert or a street performance or something, uh, but it works. Zoom in mic. Wow. All right, just another day at Micro Center. Now, while all the new camera features may not be that useful on the Note 10 Plus, I like the direction Samsung is going by adding them. New features is never a bad thing but I do think that live focus needs some work, at least in video mode. The rest of the camera though is definitely awesome. It's sharp, has excellent dynamic range, so you don't have to worry about shots being overexposed or underexposed. Things typically come out really well. There's great contrast. And one of my favorite features, the live focus mode for photos, which is where you get that background blur, it does a really good job with edge detection. So you don't really have to worry about the software not getting it right. Uh, you guys can see we had some pretty tough subjects and it did a great job at making it look nice and professional. We also have access to a night mode, so if you wanna take pictures in a dark environment, it does a really good job of making those photos usable. But now, it is time to get back to the gamer's paradise and start setting up a few of the pieces that we picked up today while also testing out how this thing integrates with some of our gaming PCs. All right, y'all, so we're finally back. I really wanna get this guy set up. Condenser microphone and arm to go with it. So we got like a little streaming mic. What we're gonna do is we're going to set up our gaming PC over where Malcolm is right now. Try and get that area all set up. All right, guys, so we got our little makeshift setup over here. We might have a gaming PC right down here across from the consoles that are on that TV. And we've got our little mic that we picked up. This thing is actually kind of dope. But while we're here, if you guys don't know, uh, the Galaxy S, uh, well, Note 10 and Note 10 Plus have Windows integration now. So now we can sync our Note 10 to our Windows 10 devices and have our notifications actually show up on the computers. Apple does that really well. 
And I wanna see how this integration with uh, Windows does uh, for Samsung. It looks like all I have to do is download this app. Okay, so I'm all signed in. Let's see, let's check the photos. Oh, this is what we just took at Micro Center today. So all of my notifications are right here. So Jay, give me, give me a call. Where's my notification windows? So I'm guessing the, it doesn't work for phone calls. Try a text message. Jay just sent it. Okay. Okay, so we pretty much see how this thing works. You're gonna want to have the Your Phone app open on your PC, and then all the stuff will come in when you need it. You can see your last 25 photos and you can see your notifications, of course. Uh, and I believe later this month, you're gonna be able to see quite a bit more. Uh, it'll have the ability to mirror your phone screen. Um, phone calls won't pop up here. I guess that makes sense. Uh, how would you answer it? it, it your, everybody's PC is a bit different. And that Windows 10 integration is an awesome move between Samsung and Microsoft. I found the notifications and the image syncing to be reliable and snappy. If you've got a PC or a laptop that you always use, I definitely recommend setting this up. But it was getting pretty late, I had enough of work, and it was time to head back home to my dog. All right guys, finally got home. It is about almost 10 o'clock, 9.42 p.m. Where's my dog? Cooks? So we got Cookie the Monster over here. Now, I know we haven't talked a lot about the S Pen and the new features that it has, so let's talk about that a bit. So one of the new features with the new S Pen is that you have this ability to use gestures. So those are called air actions, and they work really well with the camera. So Cookie, you wanna take a selfie with me? So now with these air actions, you can hold down the button and swipe, and I could just switch over to video, photo, and if I wanted to switch cameras, swipe down. Now that's the rear camera. Obviously, that is my pillow, so we're gonna change that back to the front-facing camera. So cool. Isn't it? So I wanna take a photo with Cookie. So we're gonna do a selfie. She wants me to play with her toy. But mama, come here. Let's do this. Let's take the selfie, okay? Oh. All right. All right, let's see if we got a good selfie, mama. Oh snap, you see that? She looks awesome here. Oh, so cute. She looks genuinely happy. Not she, <laughs> no, this looks great. I think that's a pretty cool feature. I think Samsung is sharing the SDK or the thing to figure out how to make this work with developers. So we might start seeing apps support different gestures with the S Pen, which could be really cool. But for now, using it for the camera, I think that's awesome if you want to take group shots or maybe start a video when you're not near the camera. I think that's cool. Uh, definitely some good use here. So it's 10.29 p.m. now. We've got 9% battery left. And uh, in terms of screen on time, we're looking at about four hours and 30 minutes. So that's not too bad, but it's not the best screen on time I've ever seen. Although this thing does have a 4,300 milliamp hour battery. Now, how do I feel about this Note 10 Plus? I mean, you got a killer phone here with an amazing camera, beautiful dynamic AMOLED display, you know, pretty good battery life. Everything, it checks all the boxes. Obviously the headphone jack is no longer here. I know a lot of you guys have gripes with that and you do have to get the Note 10 Plus if you want expandable storage. So this phone now does come with a few compromises, but I mean, this thing is a really crazy feature packed phone. Uh, you've got the ability to use Samsung DeX, make this thing an entire desktop. You have the S Pen and the capabilities that it has from there. It has this little notch here that I don't think is a problem whatsoever. And it works well with the face unlock. Um, I wish the fingerprint scanner was a little bit faster, uh, but overall, I'm happy with the experience of this phone. It's just a matter of whether or not you're willing to spend 1100 bucks. Now, I know Samsung has a crazy trading program going on right now where you can get this thing for like 500 bucks if you trade in your old phone, um, but I don't know if it lasts beyond the pre-order period. So you guys might wanna look into that. Uh, it is definitely worth chucking your old phone and getting this at a much cheaper price. I know a lot of people are disappointed that this is no longer the phone that has absolutely no compromises, but let me know with a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, be the cool guy or girl that gives it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then it's your average consumer. Peace. Beautiful, but it needs a case. See all them fingerprints?